So we have seen the calculations for basic electric vehicles like buggy and the golf carts. Okay. We have considered an example of a 5 kilowatt water and we have seen the how much capacity of battery we required, how much amount of voltage we actually given to the motor and all, right? But whatever, uh, like whenever we go to the, but whenever we actually go to the high powered vehicles, like uh, when we calculated for a vehicle, okay, we got 180 kilowatt, okay, you know how much it is? It is 1,80,000 watt power, okay. Can, uh, you can just see this power, how much high power it is, okay. So generally when we are talking about the types of motors, okay, we are having AC motors, DC motors, right. In our AC also we are having uh, types of motors like um, axial flux motors and three phase induction motors and DC also we are having BLDC motor and uh, we can say PMDC motor, etc. Okay. Uh, previously, uh, whatever calculation we did on the battery, it, it is considering a BLDC motor because it is a, one of the most used motor in India, right? So, when we actually go for the higher powers, higher powers like 1,80,000 watt power, okay. So, selecting a battery will always becoming a, a very tougher part, okay. See, for this, we need to consider our vehicle. Generally, it comes actually from the vehicle, okay. Previously, we just Power, we, uh, we just did it like this, right? Power is equals to voltage into current and uh, what is the power here? 1,80,000 watt, okay. And voltage into current. Now just tell me at what voltage uh, we have to ge get the batteries and what current we need to get from the batteries or what current that uh, actually draws, that motor draws, okay. We cannot say what, what is the type of motor and what is the type of battery we need, right? So when we actually go to the higher powers, you have you, you must again go to the design part okay yeah when you actually go to the design part see at the time of designing you will be having okay a area for your battery right okay consider it's a vehicle and uh, you actually will be having the area for your vehicle like this if we can if we can draw like this yeah see it all now depends on the how much area it is okay Every basic cell, like uh, when we actually go for this kind of a vehicles, it's better go for the lithium ion cells because it is easier for us to establish it. So let us suppose this is a cell, okay. Every cell will have a constant length and a constant like uh, what we say um, breadth. It's actually a cylinder one, we cannot, we cannot say this as a breadth. But and the radius, we can say it is a radius. So it's actually a cylindrical one, right? A radius. So uh, every every cell has the same con length and the same uh, radius, right? So it is now you, now your part to identify, okay, how many cells actually fit in it, fits this area, okay? Make sure you need to have the same capacity hard, okay. Let me show you how capacity hard, okay. Now, and let me multiply this watt into time, hard, hard is nothing but time, and voltage into I into H, okay. Now just see, you can just have a look. Now this complete conversion, converted into in what way? Watt hour, okay. And you can just look over here, voltage into, what is this I and H? indicates it indicates capacity capacity nothing but it is in ampere hour okay so always remember um, whatever voltage you keep is is not the main thing okay you can keep uh, 300 volts or uh, 320 volts uh, or whatever volts you can okay or uh, like because when we are actually dealing with this high uh, capacity power vehicles okay the motor which we are actually going to use in these vehicles are not DC because as we already said DC is having lots of power losses and the brush which is present to the DC um, will be getting um, rubbed and will be getting damaged very soon. But when we also come to the DC it is also having few power losses. So instead of that um, we can go for AC, okay. We have to go for AC because um, when we actually deal with 1,000, uh, 1,80,000 watt of power of DC. Okay, let us suppose if any accident happened to your vehicle, okay. If you use a DC powered motor, uh, it might 
like it might have a few problems okay so it's better to always go for ac uh, the reason why uh, we are not actually using uh, dc power in our homes the uh, like is dc having a lots of power losses okay so uh, that's the reason we are having a ac power um, for for our houses okay like 220 volts ac with frequency of 60 hertz or sometimes 50 hertz okay it depends on the area to area so we, we are going to use a ac motor okay so where, when considering the voltage you need not consider much about the voltage because if you pass 300 or 360 volts okay what is a thing which is act, acting as a bridge between the motor and the battery is inverter okay whatever voltage you generally pass whatever matlab you you just need you must not consider 60 volts okay there, there must be a uh, what we say uh, at least a limitations for when you consider the voltage when you consider 300 to 360 volts okay you have to customize the in inverter okay because they commercially it, it is not possible to get every time it's, it's not commercial one we we have to customize ourselves in order to make make it work okay so we have to customize the inverter and from this 360 to 300 to 360 if you send the starting uh, start sending the dc power to this inverter it continuously converts into some constant ac power okay and that ac power you will be providing to this ac motor okay so voltage is not an issue always so when we actually consider um, uh, this formula, okay, let me consider a Tesla motor. Uh, Tesla motors is having a 400 watt hour of uh, like uh, what we say motor. Okay, so Tesla is having 400 kilowatt of motor, and um, if you consider voltage into yeah, this is a capacity. Now 400 watt hour. It is also um, having a voltage of 420 volts of cells into capacity something like this okay so by this he is actually um, driving his vehicle with this much of capacity okay so this is how it works when you actually go for the um, higher vehicles okay you need to consider uh, a design again okay you need to understand the design again how many layers you can actually keep the batteries and how many batteries you can actually fit in it depending upon the how many batteries you can actually fit in it you can have a series and parallel connections and another thing you, you also need to consider is a weight part okay because the more the weight the more the uh, load is getting on the motor right so you, you need to get the design part when you really wanted to make the high power dc or, or high power electric vehicles okay um, that's it